Uh, welcome everyone in this second tutorial about the Diablo level generator. In this tutorial we are going to dive right in and I just created new uh, blank templates using the top down uh, excuse me using the top down uh, templates. So I, I got this guy. So uh, with no ver further ado let's let's just start creating stuff so in the blueprint folder i'm going to create a new uh, i'm not going to create that here because I, I want to make this downloadable from elsewhere and implementable in other projects so this is going to be uh, the, dun the diablo dungeon generator so what do we want here we want a level generator we want uh, uh, a tile this is basically the level generator is going to spawn tiles uh, we want another folder containing all utility stuff we are going to need like the structures the enum and stuff like that so what do we want to have here uh, we want uh, cardinal points so and we also want cardinal uh, no we're going to call that tile type so this is going to be all the type i mentioned in the previous videos in the previous video all these types so I'm doing it with an enum and that's that's less convenient than using bit mask bit masks and flags but I didn't want to involve any C++ in this video and this tutorial so I'm just going to do it with uh, using enums so I'm going to create one entry for each tile type so let's do it real quick so we have the dead end going north we have the dead end going south the dead end going east and west uh, we have the corridor now north south we have the corridor east west we have the corner uh, south to east we have the car the corner south to west uh, I, i'm going to start with north so north to east and north to west and south to east and south to west and then we have our three way so starting from north we have north south east and north south west and we have south east west and we have south uh what it is what is it already I forgot. So new NSC SU NSW new I I don't have new North East West and that's it. And we have our four way NSU and that's it. So this is all the tile the tile types. So we also need to tell the cardinal points what it is. Uh, so we have north, south, east, and west. And uh, what do we want to do now? Uh, we want to build our first our tile, our first tile, I believe. So we want a child blueprint class of this. This is going to be our BP start style. We are going to need a child blueprint of this is going to be end style. Uh, and that's it for now. So what do we want to add? What do we want to add here? We want to add, I'm going to put that right here we want to add a cube so this is going to be our floor and how large do we want our tiles to be this is going to be customizable of course we're going to check 
And this is actually uh, far too big. I mean, uh, let's be realistic. But here, that's a design decision. How big is our? Uh, I mean, okay. How big is our smallest game space unit? So let's let me delete all of that. Let me just bring that here. Uh, I mean, I want another another content brother. Thanks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to do some stuff off screen. I'm just drag and dropping the the tile here. I'm going to drag and drop the tile in zero zero zero. I'm going to add to add our player start here. We're going to play. Uh, I have no nav mesh. And the navigation mesh is, is quite off, so I don't know what, what it, why it is scaled. So I have a navigation mesh. So I'm going to add a few, a few columns just so I can take, I can have a better look at the scale of that tile. So I'm going, going to duplicate that. I'm going to call this pillar. Pillar 01, I'm going to call that floor. So our P pillar 01 is 2, 2, 3 scale. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to stick on the grid for the sake of having, uh, I mean, for the sake of being, every, for, for our, when working with, you always want to work with grid anyway, but even more when working with, when dealing with uh, random generation, you want everything to be quite clean. So I'm going to duplicate this pillar O2. I'm going to uh, to have three pillars, three pillars. I don't know, uh, a fourth one, and then. I'm going to put them right here. So every tile will look like this. So what about the scale? So I think this is too big for, for one tile. I think this is too big. So I'm going to make it like 15. No, this is too, too small. 22.5. Uh, now I want, I want something like this, I believe. Uh, and like this and this is one tile it feels too large still too large I believe 20 meters is that right 20 met meters sounds fair mm, you gotta think that your level is going to be composed of tiles of this size so the, the larger the largest encounters you can build will will have will have to to take place in such a such a small a small uh, in this space. So maybe that's too too small. I think that's too small. If I want to do a pretty large encounter, I cannot. But I can I can still I think I want something like 25. So 25 meters, this is going to be my tile units, but uh, this is of course going to be customizable. So uh, we have our tile and we have our, we have our, our lev level generator. So we are going to put our level generator on the map. This is going to be located at O at the origin of the world and basically we want the level generator to spawn the start tile where it is so we are not going to make any settings modifying the, the, the starting location of the dungeon because I don't see any use for it if you see one make sure to tell me in the comments so basically this is we're going to make it spawn the start tile and we're going to make sure our players stands on it so what does the level generator do? 
Uh, no, I don't want that. I'm going to make another folder and another one. So this is our tiles. And this is our system folder, our level generator. Uh, for now, the level generator is just, is just going to tell, to say spawn tile. So I'm making a new function. This is going to be the root for our, the, the, the prime function, function used by the level generator. I'm just thinking and I'm just thinking ahead. So this is going to spawn a tile, a tile. No, I don't want to do that. I want to spawn actor from class. I want an actor transform. I want to always spawn them. And this is it. I believe we want to spawn a tile. And what do we want to spawn? We want to spawn the start tile. And we want to spawn get actor transform we want to spawn that here so if i hit play we have our spawn tile and we don't have any nav mesh of course this is going to be a problem right away so i don't know how to regenerate the nav mesh uh, i forgot Uh, I think I know. Actually, I think I know. We just have to take our nav mesh and go right here, where where it is already. Mm. Okay. So when you put the nav mesh volume, you also it creates a recast nav mesh default. Uh, actor, you can click it and uh, all the way down you have an option called runtime generation. I believe you can say dynamic and let's check and yep, that works right away, hopefully. So I'm going to get rid of that. Actually, I'm just going to, re to use to rename that because I like it. Jablo like generate dungeon generator. So that's our tutorial. That's our tutorial, lads. So that's it for this video. We just the level generator created the start tile, and we're going fine for now. Everything is easy. So hope to see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, I hope you're doing well. Bye bye.